dance beautiful people welcome back to my channel everybody how is everybody doing so today uh, we're gonna talk about lack of appetite okay so I had made a video if you please go back and you'll see that um, it was a video about seven signs and symptoms and so uh, now I figured I feel like I'm going it's best for me to just focus on each topic individually go more in detail in depth about each of them okay so that you can get a better understanding okay um, I made a previous video regarding agitation please check it out also and this one will be about lack of appetite okay so let's um, talk about lack of appetite in our loved ones when they're at end of life so um, as I had mentioned before not to see that our loved ones are not eating not drinking is definitely one of the most difficult thing that a caregiver can experience because um, as I mentioned um, and as we all know food is part of our culture it's a major major part of our culture you know uh, when somebody comes to our home the first thing we do is offer them something to eat when we're happy we eat when we're sad we eat you know so it's just what we do and so to see that um, our loved ones no longer have an appetite it's really difficult you know for the caregivers to acknowledge and accept okay um, but please know that it's normal it's a normal part of end of life okay and we're gonna talk about the patient is just not hungry you know they don't really have a um, feel for food they have a lack of appetite they don't feel hungry um, sometimes they say that their taste buds is not the same the food doesn't taste the same and they just don't have cravings for their favorite meal and what a caregiver can do is to please respect and honor and just listen and hear what the patient is saying um, and also um, know that this time it's more for comfort eating okay so if the patient wants to eat um, pasta or you know they just want to eat ice cream or whatever the case is it's for comfort eating just give it to them we encourage you to just feed it to them with keep in mind that and of course I have my notes um, keep in mind that um, if they have a swallowing restrictions you know because sometimes at the end of life um, it becomes difficult for us to swallow so if a patient um, is having difficulty swallowing certain texture of food we will need to downgrade it we often see the case where um, our patient goes from being on regular food to being on thin um, texture and down to being on puree food and also thickening liquids because sometimes you know it's very hard for them to swallow so we have to make sure we are giving them the proper texture of food also okay so um, mom or dad might not be able to eat pizza anymore or chicken or hamburger okay so just um, be mindful it's a natural process so sometimes too you might see that the nurse might suggest to um, add thickenings to the liquid you know um, so that the liquid could be um, a consistency of honey because uh, we don't want um, our loved ones to experience choking okay so that's something that um, we can do regarding the drinking and speaking of drinking uh, we also see that um, at end of life the patient might be um, not thirsty might not really want to drink and sometimes you know just feeding them with spoonful of fluids can help and um, always also maintain good mouth care uh, keeping their mouth nice and moist um, is also really important we provide mouth mouth swabs that will help with that doing good mouth care um, it's important for that and of course, you know, we never want to force our loved ones to eat, 
um, because it could have an adverse reaction you know like I mentioned they could um, end up choking they could end up um, experiencing aspiration pneumonia you know um, and you know they could also have a coughing spills so we always also suggest that when we are feeding our loved ones we keep the head of the bed elevated to at least a 90 degree angle and of course take your time you know make sure we're taking our time with um, feeding them okay um, yes yeah, so like i said lack of appetite is a natural process of end of life and i know it's very 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 difficult to see your loved ones not being able to eat or drink but just know that um the organs and the tissues are not being a are not able to um absorb the nutrients from the food because the body is slowly shutting down okay um so the nurse the case manager will definitely be able to do a lot of education each visit everybody in the team will come and educate um you on what to expect what is normal what's not normal some suggestions and keep in mind everybody is different you know everybody's different that's why great communication between the family the caregiver and the nurse is really critical okay so i hope you enjoy this video uh, please comment like and subscribe and stay tuned for more video i love you with the love of jesus